So I'm starting off in the car because it's absolutely freezing out there. But we're on Sylvester Street. And Sylvester Street, I'll put a, a map up. It's one of the slum areas to be sorted out. Don't get me wrong, you know, there was built up city dwelling everywhere in the country. And all over Liverpool because it, it was a thriving port and it boomed massively, especially with the Irish famines. We had thousands of people come from Ireland to here to find work, to find somewhere to live, to find food, because there wasn't any over in Ireland. So the housing situation went from overcrowded, seriously overcrowded, to unbelievably un overcrowded. And they had to do something about it. They did have to do. It was unsanitary. It was unhealthy. Cholera epidemic. And um, I'll put some pictures in of the courts. Now, it was there's pictures of St. Michael's courts. And then there's pictures of when they were took down and cleared. And St. Michael's cottages. So yeah, that's why I'm here, because it, it's actually, we've got documentation, document pictures from the Liverpool Records Office of those pictures, those images, that map, and I can, with uh, certain things being still here, I can pinpoint where I am. Okay, so we're going to go out now. So that is St Michael's Recreation Ground. And the reason I'm showing you that is so that you can pinpoint on my map. Um, oh, it's awful dark, isn't it? Right, so I can pinpoint on the map what I'm showing you. Because this is still here and it has to be, it has to stay a recreation ground. They can't build on this. Um, but you see all these houses here, all these nice new builds with St. Sylvester's Church at the top there. This would be where all the courts would be, as in small courtyards. And it would literally have eight houses in a, a 10 foot by 10 foot court and one toilet at the end of it. Um, but yeah, they've knocked them all down, regeneration. And then after that, they went on to be St. Michael's cottages. And you think St. Michael's Cottages, and you think, oh, that sounds lovely, that does. No, they were tenement flats. And I'll walk up here, because this will give you an idea of the age of them, I suppose. I'm going to trip over my own feet here. So, that building there is it's the presbytery I've said that wrong I know for say, the church but it would have been the same brickwork the same design as the cottages dark dismal thingy you know and then they cleared all it I mean you, you, you got to imagine the space between these houses. Each house has got a little garden or a back garden or a yard of some description, even though there's a playing area there. It was so built up. There was a, a rubber factory, a sawmill, a gas works, all within, all within walking distance. And that's what people were breathing in. They wanted to give people more air, more room. So I've driven up because I'm a lazy mate. I'm not a lazy mate. It hurts too much. Anyway, um, to this, this is, and you know, more air, more opportunities, more cleanliness, more water. The new flats, tenements had uh, water, more toilets, and um, schools. So this was a girls' school. On the map, you'll see the church and then where that is was the boys school and this is the girls school these are private flats now luxury flats but you see that bit that's the roof 
and that used to be the girls playground so instead of having a, a tarmac level on the ground because there was no space to have one they got after classes during classes or whatever they'd go upstairs onto the roof and get their fresh air up there I thought that was awesome I was here the other day and some gentleman told me about that which was you know fabulous but can you imagine you, you, just, you just can't imagine all these houses were all they weren't here they were they were all tenements they were all really really closely together built and they had large families so you had one bedroom apartments with seven eight nine ten people living in them but I'm, I'm glad they, they you know regenerated and thought better of it and the driving thought force behind that was Dr Duncan um, way back in 18, 18, 1865 um, the cleanliness act so the first the first municipal buildings were in the UK built in Liverpool because he was the first health minister for the UK and he did some good so if you like this please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one